the final hours of Ramadan, and many are spending them hungry and hot in the sun, trying to get into pastry shops. The kids demanded the kak, so here I am. I already got from two different shops, but they insisted they want from that one. It took me two days to reach this point. First, I came the day before yesterday, but there weren't any, and now I've been standing here for an hour so far. The shop misplanned. They should have made these batches of kak days ahead so that there won't be this immense crowd. We're used to buying it every year. It's part of the feast happiness. And as kak is only baked before the Eid feast, if you miss out now, you have to wait another year. Kak is a combination of dough, nuts and sweets, all coated with sugar. Sounds simple, but there is far more to kak than that. Ummu Shayma and her family have long years of practice. It's been nearly 50 years since I started baking kak. I started when I was 14 years. I learned from my mother to make cookies, petifor and all other sweets. Most people now don't bake kak. They get it ready-made. They say it's a hassle. But I like keeping this tradition because it makes the kids happy. Ummu Shayma would need to spend equivalent to half the average monthly salary to meet her family's kak cravings. And making kak anyway is good for bonding with family and friends. I started helping more when I was 10. Earlier I used to take the dough and play with it. It's a beautiful feeling. Even now I am married and I have two kids. But I still get excited when I come at my mom's house to make kak. It's also an opportunity for the young generations to learn the tradition. I am happy to learn today. It will be useful when I get married. Last year we bought it ready-made and it wasn't so good. And we ate the kak before the feast started. Um Shaima's kak tastes much better. So I, too, joined in the kak preparations. My first time, and not a bad effort. It truly is an amazing experiment. Throughout the process of making the dough, cutting it, and shaping it, there is a long laughter and communication between family members. And that's truly the spirit of the feast. And without baking kak every year, it'd be missed. And best of all, in the coming hours, I get to eat as many of these tasty streets as my wife allows. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.